Hello and welcome to Group H Clash. It is the first test of Group H in which India, South Africa and Africa Associates are the three teams. And uh, today the two top teams are going head to head. It's South Africa visiting India, two of very strong current sides. I mean, uh, we have selected all the active cricketers. Uh, so that includes A.B. de Villiers and uh, Dale Stain, Philander, Morni Mokul who is playing county cricket, Sim Harma, and Hashim Amla who is also playing first class cricket. And on the Indian side, it's Mahindra Singh Dhoni who has recently retired but he will play the IPL, so he's there. Uh, if you look at the two teams, I mean, uh, Cricket captain says that uh, India is the stronger side and they are playing at home so they will fancy their chances given that they have two quality spinners in Ravindra Jadeja and Ravi Ashwin. Both are quality spinners. South Africa is going for Sam Hama who plays county cricket for Essex. If you compare the pace attack of the, both the teams, I'd certainly fancy South Africa there. Uh, but will it be enough on Indian pitches? Indian pitches are known to uh, support padding and uh, well, both teams have a very, very good batting lineup. Virat Kohli, Che Pujara and uh, Faf. Two good openers for both the teams, Agarwal and Prithvi Shaw, Dean Elga and Markro. We'll go for the toss. Looks pretty good conditions for batting. So AB de Villiers win the toss and obviously bats first. Dean Elga averages 39 with a bat. And his partner is Aidan Markram, a very excellent young player who averages 38. Just beat Broomra with open the bowling. He averages just 20. With a ball that is amazing. First ball of the day. Bumra to Dean Elga. Bold him, he's out. Very good in swinging delivery from Bumra. The second highest test run score for South Africa. Hashim Amla comes in. That's a brilliant catch. What a beauty for Shami. Right on the money. South Africa in big, big trouble. Oh, what's caught him in two? He's middled that. And that's four. It's a cracking stroke, four all the way. That's gone right through. Big, big, big wicket for Ishan Sharma in India. A.B. De Villiers, the captain is gone. Timing is the key there. He's miscued that. Streaky, but you do need some luck sometimes. An excellent off drive there. The first match session of the test match belongs to India. They've taken three wickets. Shami, Bumra and Ishant. The fast bowlers have done it. Hashim Amla on 36. He's edged it. Frustrating for the bowler, but it's four. And that's the half century. He's played straight, he's played late. Runs all around the ground, six boundaries. That was close. 
stick him in line, just nick the bat, not out. Found the edge. A moral victory for the bowler, but the batsman won't mind. Superb drive off the back foot. Four runs, there was never any doubt. This session belongs to South Africa. They haven't lost a wicket. Their run late rate was really slow, but they were really lucky as well. Absolutely brilliant comeback from South Africa. Let's go to the third session. He's him. Vicious spin from Ashwin. The great innings comes to an end. Hashim Amla out 61. The partnership is broken. They scored 88 runs for the fourth wicket. That's it, the pads. The umpire's given. Lots of drift, lots of spin. Brilliant. Faf misses out on his half century. Lovely bowling from Ashman. Two key wickets from him. Two for 24 now, Ashwin. Four runs. 150. Right off the middle. India has taken the new ball. Late in the day. Soundly beaten, but is it out? And he's... What a brilliant Yorker, right in the block hole. And Shami has struck. Night watchman Dale Stain comes in. Last over of the day, Bumra to Quinton de Kock. Really cracked that one. That'll settle a few nerves. Last ball of the day. South Africa survives day one, but India will be the happier of the two sides. And the final session also goes to India. They took three wickets in the first and last session. We'll be back with day two. Will South Africa get to a good score or will they be rattled? Will India get a big first innings lead? We'll find out.